Are you worried about future job stability, curious about what jobs will survive and what industries will thrive, and what will be the most in-demand jobs after the pandemic? If you've recently lost your job, are worried about future job security, are just starting out in the workforce, or are considering a career change but lacking direction, stay with me, I'll tell you the best careers for 2021 and beyond, and give you a range from entry level to leaders in specialized occupations to discover how to avoid unemployment in the future. And if you stay till the end, I'll tell you a very personal and very life-changing story of how I changed the life of a client and in return, he inadvertently helped save my life that I hope will inspire you. Hi there, if we haven't met before, I'm Stacey Davidson, founder and CEO of Virtual Job Search Coach for the past 13 years, creator of the Power Up Your Job Search program, and on this channel, I teach techniques and strategies to help you determine, pursue, and land your dream job. There are literally thousands, if not tens of thousands, of different types of jobs out there that will survive and thrive after the pandemic. Today, I'm going to tell you what some of the top growing careers and professions of the future are so you can consider whether you should start retraining now. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos or read my page banner, you know my goal is to help you determine, pursue, and land your dream job. I've put out lots of videos telling you how to pursue and land your dream job, but this video is about helping you determine a career or job direction. As a person, one of my core beliefs is that life is too short not to be in a job or a career that you love. After all, we spend more time in our job than anything else we do, right? As a career coach, I'm all about helping people figure out what type of work they will find joy in. I do this through a series of assessments, working with you one-on-one -on -one to get to know you and ultimately help you determine what's practical based on your unique situation. One of the things that I discuss with people considering a career or job change is finding a job and employer that aligns with their values. I've put a link in the description box below where you can download my basic values assessment for free to identify what values are most important to you. And I'll put a link to my video, How to Determine, Find, and Land Your Dream Job, where I explain in more detail how the values assessment works. So tell me, have you considered a career change but haven't made a move yet? If so, what's holding you back from making that change? Tell me in the comment section below. Now, in this video, I'm going to mention about 50 types of jobs. So to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to break it down into seven very broad industry sectors, medical, education, business and retail services, financial, transportation, trades, and you guessed it, IT. Now, before we jump in, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell to be reminded when my next video is out. Two things I want to mention before we get into this. One, I'm going to briefly explain what skills and interests may be suitable for these types of industries or roles, list some of the growing occupations within that industry, tell you the median salary levels for these roles in both Canada and the United States. If you're watching from another country, and if you're within North America, I'm going to give you one of my favorite websites where you can get all kinds of great career information on all of the jobs I talk about today and more. It's called payscale.com. It's absolutely free and you can research job titles, salary scales, educational requirements, and a whole lot more. And this website caters to over 190 countries. So it's one of my favorite resource sites and I'll put a link in the description box for this video. Secondly, salaries can range greatly based on geographic location, industry, and your number of years of experience. So I want to caution you not to fixate on the salary numbers that I quote in this video. They are national median rates taken from payscale.com and they don't include things like commissions, tips, bonuses, and overtime potential, which many of these roles have. Payscale.com provides a lot more specifics and you can search right down to the geographic area in which you live for more accurate and detailed information. Do your own research based on your target location, industry, and the level of role that you want to target. Now let's get into sector number one, medical. If you enjoy helping people, have an investigative mind, love all things medical, and have a strong stomach for bodily functions, then here are some career options that will continue to grow for years to come that you may want to consider. Home care worker or care aid. If you enjoy assisting seniors, helping those with disabilities, or injury recovery, this can be a great role for you. 
The average salary is $24,000 in the U.S. and $31,000 in Canada. You'll need a high school education, and depending on the state or province that you're in, or whether you're targeting a private or government-funded medical facility, you may be required to acquire a formal certification through a vocational school or community college, and most programs are less than a year. Nursing. To me, nurses are the superheroes of healthcare. Not that I value doctors or other medical professionals any less, but where would the world be if we didn't have nurses? Now, nursing has a broad range of roles and specialty areas, so you'll definitely want to do some further research if nursing sounds like something that you're interested in. I'll tell you about three common levels of nursing. An LPN, or a licensed practical nurse, this is kind of the entry level of nursing. It requires an associate's degree, usually a two-year college program, and has a median salary of $44,000 in the US and $54,000 in Canada. Then there's a registered nurse, which requires a four-year post-secondary university degree, and their median salary is $63,000 US and $78,000 Canadian. And lastly, there is a nurse practitioner who typically is a more specialized level of general preventative care and requires a master's degree with a median salary of $98,000 in the U.S. and $88,000 in Canada. Diagnostic medical sonographers, ultrasound technicians, and echocardiogram technicians. They have a median salary of $65,000 in the U.S. and $68,000 in Canada. And you will need an associate's degree, diploma, or post-secondary certification. Physicians and surgeons, again, super broad range of specialties. So depending on the specialty, they have a median salary of 220,000 in the US and 194,000 in Canada, but you are looking at eight to 11 years of medical school and residency training. Other medical related occupations that will continue to be in demand in the future and will all require some form of post-secondary education, mostly bachelor or master's degrees are pharmacists whose median salary is 120,000 US and 104,000 Canadian. Optometrists with a median salary of 110,000 US and 92,000 Canadian. Licensed opticians have a median salary of 47,000 US, 50,000 Canadian, and a licensed optician usually requires a diploma or certificate from a community college or technical school. Physical therapists have a median salary of 71,000 in the US and 79,000 in Canada. Speech language pathologists. This is a great role if you love working with children, but it does typically require a master's degree and it pays 76,000 in the US and 83,000 in Canada. Chiropractors have a median salary of 60,000 in the US, 74,000 in Canada. Dentists with a median salary of 136,000 in the US and 116,000 in Canada. Hygienists with a median salary of 75,000 US and 79,000 Canadian. Psychologists, 78,000 in the US, 76,000 in Canada, and it does require a master's degree. Occupational therapists have a median salary of 79,000 in the US and 79,000 in Canada, and require a four-year degree. While an occupational therapist assistant makes an average of 56,000 in US, 42,000 in Canada, and is only a two-year education program. Now, let's move on to industry sector number two, education. Teachers will always be needed, so if you love continually learning, coaching and mentoring a variety of ages, from children to adults, then this may be a great career option for you. Grade school and high school teachers have a median income of 49000 in the US, 68000 in Canada, and requires a four-year degree, while a college professor usually requires a minimum of a master's degree and has a median salary of 77000 in the US and Canada. And to be a tenured university professor, you will require a doctorate. And they have a median salary of 88,000 in the US and 116,000 in Canada. If you're someone who's great at explaining technical things into terms that anyone can understand, then another career that will be around for a long time are technical writers. They get paid a median of 70,000 in the US and 50,000 in Canada. All right, now let's jump into sector number three, business and retail services. First up is business development. This is usually a combination of both marketing and sales. It may or may not require a degree depending on the industry. And the median salaries are 48,000 in the US and 46 in Canada. Now, this is one of those deceiving salary scales. I have worked with and hired many business development people throughout my career, most of which make six figures. But again, that depends heavily on the industry, the size of the company and the scope of the role. But if you're a people person, love explaining things to people, asking questions and solving problems, and are a creative thinker, then this can be a great field to explore. 
Now, if you're creative, love analyzing data, like working with software, technology, social media, and enjoy the challenge of improving results, then you might want to look into becoming a digital marketing specialist. My husband retrained into this field just before the pandemic hit, and he loves it. He's an introvert, but he's highly creative, full of ideas, and loves the geeky part of analyzing information. Not my cup of tea. And now he runs his own business. Oh, and did I mention he's also my video editor? So all those cool effects you see in my videos, well, that's all thanks to him. So digital marketing specialists make 50,000 in the US as a median salary and 51,000 in Canada. Moving right along, marketing managers are another never die occupation that will always be in demand in the future. And the median salary is about 66,000 in the US and 63,000 in Canada. Customer service representatives make 30,000 in the US 32,000 in Canada, and usually only require a high school diploma, and are in demand in a variety of business types. There's a relatively new career, personal shoppers. This is becoming a huge thing now, especially in the grocery industry, and it doesn't require any special education. I've been using personal shoppers for about two and a half years, and I love it. The median wage is about 24,000 in the US, 31,000 in Canada. While I'm making this video for you, there's someone picking my groceries right now. There are hundreds of jobs that fall into this broad category, so I'm only going to mention a couple more so that we can move on. Hairdressers will never go out of style. Did you get the pun? They make 21,000 in the US, 31,000 in Canada as a median salary, not including tips. And thanks to us pet lovers, animal services such as veterinary and dog grooming will always have a future. Moving right along to sector number four, financial. If you love math, working with numbers, analyzing information, and helping people, some roles that involve all of these and that will be around for decades are a financial advisor with a median salary of 60,000 in the US, 50,000 in Canada. Financial planner with a median salary of 68,000 in the US and 59,000 in Canada. A certified public accountant with a median salary of 78,000 in the US and 62,000 in Canada and financial managers, which are required in many industries and have a median salary of 92,000 in the US and 75,000 in Canada. Sector number five, transportation. Delivery services. Do you remember how two years ago you would order something on Amazon and you'd get it delivered sometimes as quick as the next day and then the pandemic hit and it took weeks to get things? Well, thankfully, delivery services have expanded and delivery times have greatly improved. So if you like driving and delivering packages, then joining a delivery service company can be fun, especially if you love dogs. Just check out UPS Dogs on Facebook or Instagram and you'll know what I'm talking about. Delivery service drivers typically have a median salary of 34,000 in the US and 38,000 in Canada. And another superhero career are class one truck drivers. What would we have without our beloved truck drivers? Nothing, because they transport everything. They are the reason we have groceries, clothes, gasoline, cars, you name it, it was delivered to your community by a truck driver. Unless of course you live on an island. Anyway, there will always be a need for truck drivers. You will require a special class of driver's license and they have a median salary of 42,000 in the US and 46,000 in Canada. Okay, now let's jump into sector number six, trades. I'm going to run through some of these fairly quickly because I think you'll have a good sense of what most of them are famous for. If you enjoy working with your hands, operating tools and are good at math, then here are some options to consider. Electricians with a median salary of 55,000 in the US and 63,000 in Canada. Plumbers, 45,000 US, 62,000 in Canada. Heavy duty mechanics, 48,000 in the US, 69,000 in Canada. Welders, 53,000 in the US and 62,000 in Canada. Steam fitters and pipe fitters, 55,000 in the US, 75,000 in Canada. Engineers, and there are several types have a median salary of 72,000 in the US and 72,000 in Canada. And to be a certified journeyman level, almost all of these will require a four-year apprenticeship and schooling. The population is not getting any smaller. So along with these trades I just mentioned, there will also always be a need for construction managers. The national median salary is 78,000 in the US and 92,000 Canadian. And often doesn't require any formal education. Although progressive experience is a must and certification trainings and designations such as project management professional will dramatically increase the salary. 
Now I'm going to tell you about two relatively new trades careers that require minimal education but are becoming more in demand by the year. The first is a wind turbine technician. This field is expanding every year. Did you know that as of January 2019, that's two years ago, there were more than 58,000 wind turbines in at least 43 states in the United States? They have an average salary of 53,000 in the US and 54,000 in Canada. And the other up and coming trade are solar energy systems installers with an average salary of 40,000 in the US and 42,000 in Canada. Currently, there's usually no formal education required. It's most often on the job training. Although there are online courses on the subject. So if it sounds interesting to you, ask your good friend Google for more information. And sector number seven, I've saved IT for last because it segues into a little inspirational story I'd like to share at the end. IT and computer technology. Again, this is one of those massive fields with hundreds of job classifications, but I'm gonna run through a few that will forever be in demand. Computer technical support specialists. They have a median salary of 40,000 in the US and 49,000 in Canada. So these are the people you talk to on the phone when your software, hardware, or tech isn't working properly and they try to troubleshoot the problem and fix it. A degree or diploma in an IT related field is usually helpful, but not always necessary depending on the company and industry. Software developer. I think it's fairly self-explanatory. You will need a minimum of a bachelor's in computer sciences or software engineering, and the median salary is 72,000 in the US and 67,000 Canadian. Although I know some software developers making well over six figures. IT managers, average 89,000 in the US, 86,000 in Canada, and it does require an IT related bachelor's degree. Web developers have a median salary of 60,000 in the US, 54,000 in Canada. Data analysts have a median salary of 62,000 in the US and 57,000 in Canada. And statisticians, 75,000 in the US and 68,000 in Canada. Data analytics and data scientists require a degree in applied mathematics, data science, or similar, and have a median salary of 96,000 in the US and 79,000 in Canada. UI and UX designers. That stands for user interface or user experience designers. Google them to learn what they do and what the differences are. In the US, the median salary is 75,000 and 63,000 in Canada. Cybersecurity is another never die career. Certified information system security professionals make 100,000 US and 76,000 Canadian as a median salary. And some branch off into what's called an ethical hacker. That's someone who is basically paid to try to hack into companies' IT and computer security systems to help them find and mitigate risks. I have a client who makes well over six figures in the US as an ethical hacker, and he loves it. And that leads me to this very special story I'd like to share. Those who've worked with me or who know me will tell you how passionate I am about helping people succeed in finding a career they love. Like I've said, life is too short to be in a job you aren't happy in. Anyone who's worked with me becomes part of my client family, and many come back to me every couple or few years for my help again, as they take the next step in their career path or employment journey. One of my clients, to protect his identity, we'll call him Tom, first came to me 10 years ago when he couldn't land a job in IT and was flipping burgers to pay his bills. He was miserable and barely making ends meet. I managed an IT department for five years, way back in my career. So I had a fairly good knowledge of the lingo and after talking with Tom, I could tell he was a self-taught IT genius. He didn't have a formal education, but he had skills. So I rewrote his resume and a few weeks later, he sent me this message. I wanted to let you know I got the job. Within a month, I was called for an interview. I'm now making three times what I was making in my last position. You're simply a godsend and I wanna thank you so much. This is nothing short of a life-changing job that's my gateway to the IT career I've always wanted. What Tom didn't know was how life-changing his little message would be for me. You see, the year before I met Tom, just before the Christmas of 09, I had lost my son and I spent most of 2010 not wanting to be alive. I pushed myself every day to get out of bed, put a fake smile on my face, and try not to let the world know how dead I was inside. And I couldn't imagine how I was ever going to live again. But Tom's message helped inspire me to want to continue changing other people's lives in a positive way. 
It was the spark that ignited my new purpose, that led me to helping over 1,200 people determine, pursue, and land their dream job to date. Now, my favorite part of Tom's story was that he continued growing and developing in his career. Every couple of years, he would come back for my help when he was applying for a promotion. He furthered his education while working and continued to up the ranks, and three years ago, he sent me this message. I was recently recruited for an offensive security engineer, an ethical hacker. Before you made my resume in 2010, I was making $12 an hour, and I'm about to be making $75,000 a year entry level. With a few certifications, this will turn into $125,000. You put into words what I couldn't and helped me get here. I wanted to thank you with all my heart and let you know what you did for me wasn't just make me a resume, it gave me confidence I didn't have. And that is why I do what I do. I hope you found a little inspiration in that story. If you like what you learned today, then please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you know someone who's looking for work, please share this video with them. And just a reminder to download your free copy of my values assessment. Look for the link in the description box below. And remember, if you've considered a career change but haven't made a move yet, tell me in the comments section what's holding you back. If you're unemployed, looking for work, or thinking about making a career change, here are some of my other videos you might want to check out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.